Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome. We will continue fault tree analysis. Today we will discuss primarily Cartshed method. So the contents of today's presentation: one, the conceptual issues related to Cartshed, then the algorithms, Mokas and Mixup algorithm. We will be discussing primarily the Mokas algorithm, and there will be example on Cartshed methods. And the source is the same book that is Komamoto and Henley, Probabilistic Risk Assessment and Management for Engineer and Scientist. It is really IEEE. So you have already seen the get by get method. In get by get method, the top top event. With different gates, finally at the bottom events, the bottom event probabilities are known, and every gates are quantified, and finally top event probability is quantified. So that method is good for small fault tree. For large fault tree, you require to use computer programming, and you require an efficient algorithm for that purpose. Cartshed method is one such algorithm that will help in quantifying the top event probability through computer programming. So there are certain uh, terms and certain issues related to this Cartshed method. For example, first one is the set. So all of you know the set is collection of Items, collection of individuals, or collection of entities. In in fault tree, it is collection of basic events, all basic events. So a set containing all the basic events in a fault tree is termed as basic set. It is set because it talks about the the event related to all the component level failures. So now, if as you have already seen from the get by get method, if you know the probability of the basic set, means the component probability, you will be able to find out the top probability, top event probability. So and also you you will you will see that for top event to occur, it is not that all the bottom events should occur. Maybe a combination of bottom events will ultimately lead to top event so that's why for the top event to occur it may not require all the events in the basic set to occur now we are coming in terms of talking in terms of set so basic set means what all the basic events so for top event to occur all the basic event like b1 to bn that doesn't require to occur may be one or more in combination Ultimately, lead to the top event occurrence. So, for example, a hole in the cylinder can cause leakage of gas. That is the top event. Means only one basic event in hole in the cylinder, particularly that kitchen gas cylinder. A hole can cause leakage of gas. So, one basic event may be of such capacity that it can lead to the top event occur. Or a combination of basic events finally lead to the top event occur. So that what is cut set? A cut set is a subset of the basic set such that if all the basic event in the cut set occur, then the top event will occur. So that means what we say that basic set is the ultimate that is the super set. So there may be subset that can be derived from the basic set. And and what is the property 
that if all the events in that subset occur, then top event will occur, then that subset is cut set. Now, let us consider the example. All of you have seen this example in earlier class that we have six basic events b1, b2, b3, b4, b5 and b6 and then what will be the basic set? Basic set contain all the basic events. Now, let us arbitrarily create some of the subset only b1, b1, b2, b3, b4, b5, b6, b6, b2, b4, b5, b6. So, you have 6 basic events. So, basic set contains 6 elements. Now, arbitrarily we have created this many subsets. Now, for the sake of understanding, we will examine one at a time and already the cuts the total fall tree utilizing the 6 basic events I have given to you just follow that fall tree. And you will see that from that fall tree the occurrence of B1 alone or B1, B2, B3 in combination or B2, B4, B5, B6 in combination can cause the top event that is leakage of gas to occur. Okay, so, you have seen this one, but the S3 which is basically B4, B5, B6, if the event B4, B5, B6 occur, the top event will not occur. So, as a result S1 is cut set, S2 is also another cut set, S4 is also a cut set but this one S3 is not a cut set. I hope you understand. Okay. So, now what we have found out? We found out that the from the arbitrary sub uh, selection of subset like S1, S2, S3 and S4, this is cut set, cut set, not cut set, this is cut set. Okay. So, what happened in S1 and S4, all the events in the set required to occur for the top event to occur. Let me go back again. For example, uh, for example, let me go back again. For example, S1. So, B1 must occur. S3. B4, B5, B6, if that occur, this will this is not a cut set. S4 and S2. So, you, you will find out that ultimately I told you that here this must occur, and here in S2 you have to see that whether all the three required to occur or maybe a, a combination will another combination will help similarly S4. So, that is what I want to discuss now. What I want to tell you that what we have written here that that the set S1 which basically contain B1 and your S4, B2, B4, B5, B6 can be termed as minimal cut sets. Why? Because all the elements in minimal cut set must occur that means, then only the top event occur. But if you take the cut set S2, that is non minimal because this S2 that B1, B2, B3, B3 and here what happened B1 and B2, B3, then this S1 and S2 both are equally able to help occurring the top event. So, as a result what happened two minimal cut set S1 and S2 and ultimately that S1 if occur and S2 occur they independently can make the top event occur. Now, if you create a set like this B1, B2, B3 this is not minimal because 
all the events in this set doesn't require to occur for the top event to occur. So then what happened basically? We have given you three things. One is basic set. For example, B1, B2 to B6. Then we say cut set. For example, B1, B2, B3. This is a cut set. Why it is cut set? Because this three basic event if occur, the top event will occur. It is it is not basic set because basic set contains all the bottom level events. But this one can be written like this B1 and B2, B3. Now, B1 alone is sufficient to cause the top event to occur. So, that is why this is a cut sheet. Again, B2, B3 sufficient to cause the top event to occur, then this is a another cut sheet. The property of here that if B1, for example, A2, both B2 and B3 should occur, then the top event occur. That is why this is minimal cut sheet. For example, S1 is minimal, although it has one, only one element. But this cut set B1, B2, B3, it is not minimal because it is combination of two minimal cut set. Okay. So, we have basic set, we have cut set, we have minimal cut set. So, we want to find out the minimal cut sets. Usually, when we say cut set method, we try to find out the minimal cut sets. So, how do you generate cut set? We will use MOCAS algorithm developed by Fassel et al. 1974. It is a top down approach or mix up app that is minimal cut set upward, it is a bottom up approach. Both the approach are more or less similar. So, but one is from top to bottom, another from bottom to top. So, we will discuss this approach. Please listen very carefully that how mix a MOCAS algorithm works. So, it is a very important algorithm for fault tree analysis. There are two principles, principle 1 and principle 2. It is basically related to AND and OR gate. So, when you develop a fault tree, you might, might be using other gates, not necessarily only AND and OR gate. You may be using other gates like exclusive OR gate or priority AND gate, some other gates. So, it is it is it is recommended that you convert other gates into equivalent AND or OR gate or combination of AND and OR gate and then make the make the fault tree having only AND and OR gate that is the first thing. And second is that you use two principles to find out the cut set one is principle one it relates to AND gates if there is any AND gate, it increases the number of basic event in a cut set. So, let me write down like this. Suppose top event. So, there are let there are many cut sets like S1, S2, suppose SK. So, many cut sets you know. What is cut set? If the event in this set occur, top event will occur. If event in this set occur, top event will occur. If event in this SK set occur, top event will occur. Then we can say it is a OR gate with all the cut sets or you can write like this. So, now, now what we say if they are minimal cut set, then all the basic events here must occur, then only this will occur. So, that means, there is an end gate with the basic event related to this cut set, similarly related to this cut set, similarly related to this cut set. Okay. The principle is in the fault tree, when you are coming down from the top to bottom, whenever you encounter 
and AND gate, it simply indicates that that increases the number of basic event it cuts it. It will not increase the number of cut sets. So, given a fault tree like this, suppose this is my AND gate, then here is one basic event, here is one OR gate, here is another two basic events and here is one basic event. So, coming down you found out an AND gate, what does it mean? This gate will basically will increase the number of basic event in the set. So, this start with a set here this one, this gate and this basic event will be the element and it will be only one set. It will not increase the number of cut set, but when you get an end gate or gate it increases the number of cut sets because or gates is more vulnerable. So, this principle you have to apply and we will see how it will work. Then how do you proceed? Step 1 alphabetized each gate and number each basic event. So, that means if this is the fault tree gate will be A, B and number means like 1, 2, 3, 4 that is why alphabetize each gate number of and number each basic events. Consider the upper mode, most gate first identify all the inputs to this gate. First you consider this, see the inputs and accordingly use the applicable principle whether AND and OR and then either you increase the number of uh, basic events in a cut set or number of cut sets. So, if the gate is OR gate increase the number of rows and A that is principle 2 and if the gate is AND gate increase the number of columns. So, let me tell you what is this I think next slide you will see what is this. And then what happened you move down to the next gate and in this process go down to the to the bottom com at a bottom level and and then you will having a lot of cut sets and then all non minimal and duplicates cut, cut sets will be will be removed using boolean algebra then the remaining cut sets will be the minimal cut sets suppose this is our hypothetical fault tree top event alphabetized gate A, gate B, gate C, gate D. This is my AND gate, this is another AND gate, then this is OR gate, this is OR gate. Now, number the basic events 1, 2, 3, again 2, 4. That means, these events coming in the two places of the whole tree. Okay. So, we want to use the MOCAS algorithm now. How we will do? You see, first gate is what? You create a matrix. So, in the matrix, the number of columns and number of rows. So, number of rows, number of columns. So, row stands for cut number of every row talks about a cut set and every column talks about the element in that corresponding cut set means corresponding row. So, we have already seen that the diagram you have already seen diagram is top event then A. So, start with this. So, we are doing this start with A. Now, what is A? A E the stop event gate is A the initial entry into the matrix. What is A? A is an AND gate. If it is AND gate what it will do? It will not increase the cut sets, increase the number of cut sets that means and uh, that means there will it will it will be it will be in the same row there will be no ad additional row for this and it increases the elements in the cut set. So, first cut set. So, the input to A is what? Input to A is B and D, input to A is B and D. 
So, that means what we will do then? A is con converted to B and D in the first row, number of elements is increased. The reason is A is AND gate. Now, see you have two gates here B and D. Suppose we consider B first, what is B gate? B is OR gate. So, if it is OR gate, it will increase the number of cut set. So, how many uh, what will be the number increase depends on the number of inputs to these gates. If the gate has two inputs then the first that uh, there will be two cut sets if it is three inputs three cut sets like this. Now, B has two inputs what are those two inputs 1 and C. So, that is why B is replaced by 1 and C D remain as it is because D is common to both 1 and C. So, what happened you see in the AND gate case the element in the row increases in the OR gate case number of rows increases number of rows is synonymous to number of cut sets number of columns synonymous to number of elements in a cut set. Then there are two things C and D gate now you can choose C or D any one let us go by alphabets order. So, C is chosen. What is C? C is an AND gate. If C is an AND gate, it will not increase the number of cut set rather it will increase the element in the cut set. So, the input to C is 2 and 3 and as a result you see 1 D as it is. Now, C is replaced by 2 D takes its place 3 is added here one more one more column is added. So, that is why 1 D 2 D 3 this is basically the cut set 2 cut sets. So, how long you will continue you will continue so long the the matrix will be with only uh, numbers there will be no alphabets because alphabet talks about the gates. Okay. Now, see how many alphabets are there only one that is D but in two places. So, we will write what is the input to D input to D is 2 and 4. So, and what is D? D is OR gate. If D is OR gate, it will increase the cut set. So, what happened? 1 as it is, then D is replaced by 2, 2 ok. The second row we, we, we kept as it is, but as D being the OR gate, it increases the number of rows. So, 4, 2 already we have considered, we have to consider 4. So, that is why 1 and 4. 1 is common, 2 and 4 are input to this gate. This is first time we have done, but there is that D is not completed here. So, there another another D is there. In the same manner, you have increased the number of rows. So, as a result, what happened? You got one cut cut set 1 and 2, another one 2, 2, 3, another one 1, 4, another one 2, 4, 3. Now, you use Boolean algebra to reduce this to minimal cut set like 1 2 it is minimal because both required to occur 2 2 3 this is nothing but 2 3 because the same basic event coming two times it is boolean and zero concept is 1. So, the second one is replaced reduced to 2 and 3 then 1 4 as it is. Now, what will happen to 2 and 4 2 4 3? this is not a minimal cut set. The reason you have already seen that if 2 and 3 occurs top event will occur now here 2, 4 and 3 is there. So, 2 and 3 already there. So, that means that is already considered. So, this is not minimal and it is not required. So, we have removed this one. So, as a result the number of minimal cut set is 3 reduced to this minimal cut set. This is what is the algorithm MOCAS algorithm for minimal cut set. Okay. I hope you have understood. Let me repeat again we are using two principles principle 1 AND gate will increase the number of elements in a cut set principle 2 OR gate increases the number of cut set. What will be the increase? in both the cases increasing the number of inputs to that particular gate. If it is AND gate then the number of element in the cut set will be 
the number of inputs to that AND gate. If it is OR gate, number of cut state will increase and that increase is number of input to the OR gate and using this principle AND. And then to, to make it programmable, what we have done, we have basically saying that you alphabetize the uh, gates and number the basic events. So, and then then follow this algorithm. Okay. I hope you have understood. See the situation here. Leakage of gas or gate. How many inputs? 1, 2, 3. So, if you want to create, so first you start with G1, then it is or gate, it will increase the number of rows 1, G2, G3. So, these are all cut sets. Now, you talk about G2. So, G2 is what? AND gate. So, input how many inputs? 2. So, what will be the next stage then? 1, G2 will be replaced by 2 and 3 and G3 will be as it is. But G3 is again, you see, it is basically G4 and 2. So, you write this one and it is, it is an AND gate. So, G4 and 2. Okay. Now, what is G4? G4 is another AND gate and which has G5 and 6. So, that means G4 will be replaced by then this will be there, this is ok, then G2, G4, this portion is replaced by G5 and 6, G5 is OR gate having 4 and 5. So, that means resultant things will be 1, 2, 3, then 4, 5, 4 6, achha, 2 is there, na? ok. G4, G4, yeah, ok, 2 is there, so then 2, 4, 6 and then 2, 5, 6. Using MOCAS algorithm, you are getting this. It is there. You see. It is there. G1 is OR gate, 3 inputs, 3 cut sets. Then, 1 as it is, it is basic event, nothing to do. G2 is AND gate with 2 basic events, fine, 2, 3. G3 having basic event 2 and gate 4. So, like this. Now, 1 as it is, this addition and G4 is AND gate with G5 and 6. So, 2 G5 6 in this manner break. And ultimately, how many cut sets you are getting? 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, there is no redundant basic events. So, 1, 2, 3, they, they are unique, 2, 4, 6 unique, 2, 5, 6 unique. Now, what you have to see? You have to see that whether they are basically, basically uh, minimal or not. See, 1, nowhere is there, 2, 3 is not sufficient to replace this, 2, 4, 6 not sufficient to replace this also. So, this is a minimal cut set. Okay. So, this is what is the concept of cut set MOCAS algorithm. So, once you have the cut sets ready, then the logical linking is top event with OR gate and this is cut set 1, cut set 2, cut set 3 and cut set means minimal cut set. So, all the basic event should occur that is why AND gate, AND gate like this. So, that means once you know the number of cut sets and the element of the cut sets you will be you will be able to find the probability of this cut set, this cut set, this cut set, and then find out the probability of the top event using the OR and gate um, logic. Okay. So this is what is our cut set method. And for the example, we have already found out one is cut set, then two three then 2, 4, 6, 2, 5, 6, this probability known, probability known, probability known, because of AND gate 2 and 3, it is multiplied, because of here also AND gate these 3 multiplied, here also AND gate these 3 multiplied, but we are assuming that basically they are independent, independent that basic events are independent here. Then it is AND OR gate, so what happened input 1, 2, 3 and 4, use the OR gate formula 
and you will be ultimately getting this probability. So, leakage of gas its probability is 0 0.0001 ok. So, 1 in 10,000 10 to the power 4 of 4 times you use the oven the kitchen suppose 10,000 times you have used this and one time there will be a leakage. Mix up algorithm just reverse. So, for the leakage of gas top event we started from gate 1 and proceed through gate 5 in the Mokas case. In mix up we will start from G 5 the lowest gate and proceed upward. So, G 5 is OR gate and the two principle that means increase in uh, element in a cut set or increase in number of cut set that principle will be applied ok. So, G 5 is OR gate then G 4, G 4 is an AND gate that is why number of elements increases. Now, G 4, 4, 6, 5 in this manner you proceed. Then finally, ultimately you will get the same, same number of minimal cut set. So, I hope you got it. If you have any query regarding cut set method, please use the forum. Thank you very much.